Hey, what's going on guys? Dano from ModBot here, and today I am really excited to bring you guys another practical 3D printing video. Uh, it is no surprise that I do a ton of 3D printing on this channel. Uh, I do a lot of just random prints, things I need, things that I think look awesome, and I love printing all sorts of little figures and little knickknacks and uh, models from a couple of the different 3D modelers that I really like uh, their work, but there's definitely something special that I uh, enjoy sharing with you guys, and that's when I'm able to use 3D printing for something that is practical around the house or just something that I need in my life that uh, I'm able to solve with 3D printing. But I'm going to be showing you guys how I took the uh, little Wise camera, which is a tiny little like security camera that a lot of people use for uh, monitoring their 3D printers. So I use it for my 3D printers, checking up on the dogs while I'm gone, and even checking up on the apartment. Um, and I wanted to create a really simple wall mount for it. Um, I'm pointing up here because that's where it's actually at right now, and you guys will see that in a minute. Um, there is wall mounts available online that you can purchase, but I figured with the 3D printer in about 15 minutes of my time, I could really quickly and easily model up a mount for this and that's what I did. Um, hopefully this will maybe inspire you guys to do some practical 3D printing around your house or if nothing else at least give you guys some ideas um, that maybe you hadn't thought of before. So on that note let's get into the video. Huge thank you to my awesome Patreon supporters. You guys rock. I really appreciate you guys uh, supporting my content and allowing me to spend more time doing what I love. So I knew that I wanted to create this mount a few weeks ago. I moved into a new apartment and there just wasn't good places for me to put these wise cams on surfaces. So the next option was to just mount them onto the wall. So what I went ahead and did was I grabbed my digital calipers. I measured the base of the wise camera, which is a square that made it really, really easy to model since I didn't have to take a bunch of measurements. So I measured the, uh, the, the length and width. I measured the depth of the base, the thickest point, which would allow me to create a slot to slide the camera into. I also measured where the camera has like its little feet or bracket. I wanted to make sure that I didn't block that so that way the camera would be able to pivot up and down and left and right. I didn't, normally I do tons of revisions to my models, but because what I wanted from this was something just really simple, I was actually really happy with the initial print as far as the uh, fit of everything. The screws went through the holes, uh, the camera uh, was sat in there very snugly, so I ended up just leaving it as is and was really happy with the end result. So this is what the final bracket looks like. It's just got a little slot. It's got two holes. The top holes are bigger than the bottom holes, so that way the actual head of the screw can pass through and I can use a drill to shove the drill bit inside. But on the back side, the holes are only three millimeter roughly, so that way the head could not slip through and I created little insert slots. And again, the cameras are light enough to where I knew that as long as I had a pretty tight fit, I could just pressure, uh, push them into place and they wouldn't be going anywhere. So once I saw the model it was looking pretty good, I went ahead and exported it over into Cura. I sliced it with 20% infill and I believe I did something like 0.3 uh, millimeter layer resolution. I wasn't going for... Uh, you know crazy detail. I just wanted something that was quick and would work. So that was the Final thing I went with I printed this out in white PLA on the CR 10s Pro uh, I figured the camera has a pretty clean little simple aesthetic So I figured that sticking with kind of white like the head of the camera would probably be the best option And I was off and printing I think print time ended up being about an hour and 20 minutes give or take So once the print was done, I went ahead and I didn't give it much more than a second to cool down before grabbing the uh, Wham Bam Flex Plate and popping off that part. Uh, it's been doing a really good job as long as I have the bed heated after turning off the eco mode on this machine um, of grabbing the parts and then releasing them as soon as the print is done, which is awesome. So again, first thing I did was just a quick test fit to make sure the heads of the screw could pass through the larger hole and that the actual 
um, body of the screw would not be able to pass through the smaller hole in the back so it's perfect just the little uh, tip point of the screw was able to fit through the hole which is exactly how I wanted I then went ahead and grabbed the wise cam and just slid it into place because I wanted to make sure since it was going to be sliding from the bottom that it had a really tight grip and the camera wouldn't be falling out on somebody's head or falling down to the ground and breaking and it was perfect it was um, a tight enough fit to where it wouldn't slide on its own and actually took a pretty uh, good amount of force to get out but not too much where I felt like I could break it um, from the fit so I was really happy with this so I went ahead and grabbed my drill and drilled these into the corner um, the corner of my room here and once I was done drilling those in I just went ahead and mounted the camera and tested it out and I was really happy with the end result. Um, I thought it turned out awesome. Uh, so I did place this online on Thingiverse. I'll place a link in the description if you guys do want to download this for yourself. If you've got wise cameras, I know they're really common and popular. They're like $15 on Amazon, which is insane. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This has been a practical 3D printing use case. Uh, and again, maybe it'll inspire you to do something cool around the house, like a little fix it project or maybe something uh, again similar to this that you didn't think of prior don't forget to like and subscribe for more great videos if you love the content and you want to support the channel patreon links are in the description down below as always thank you guys for checking out my video let me know in the comments down below if you've got a home improvement project that you were able to do with 3d printing or if you've got something planned i'm curious to hear what kind of stuff you guys are working on and uh, maybe you guys will even inspire me to do something else around the apartment here so on that note thank you guys so much for watching and i look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Peace guys.